All right, Banja Lujra. Um, I'm gonna teach you something kind of quick since you are um, you're learning 3D modeling to work with your comics, and hopefully this will work out for you. Well, since your uh, since your comics are featuring a little potion girl, I was going to quickly teach you how to make a potion that glows. Now, the version of Blender that I'm currently using is Blender 2.8 Beta. And you can download this on you can download this on Blender's website. It's a wonderful little program, so I don't know if you're using it or not, but I suggest trying it out because the next update is gonna be just like this. But what we start off with is obviously a little cylinder. I'm pretty sure you already got the basics down based on what I've seen on your um your stuff. I thought I would show you just something quick and a quick and fun and how I would make a, um, a potion. Let's bring that up right there, pull that in, put that right there, and pull that out, like this. Make this part for the cork, and then control B for the, uh, the bubbling. Now I got a cute little potion bottle, let's give it a little bit more detail. This. About right there. Let's smooth it out. That way the neck looks nice and uh, curved. And we'll actually go over here and make the bottom a little bit more. Perfect little bottle, right? So I thought this would be interesting because I don't know if you're going to include color in your comics down the road, but I was going to teach you how to make it glow, like with color and such like that with the shaders. So shift B to get the base bottle right here and then press the key button selection. And then from there, I'm going to click the selection that we just made. I'm going to close off the faces. So, boop. All right, so now that we have that, we can shrink it. Oh, I want to turn that off. Shrink it a little bit. And now that's inside the bottle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bevel the bottom. I'm also going to bevel the top. From here, this is where it gets a little bit more fun. So, what you do. I want to click the inside too. So let's do that and shift and hold that. Let's make it smooth. And what I was going to do is show you this. So here's the bottle. If we go over here to our materials property, just click new. And we don't need any color for this right now. What we are going to want to do is go down to our settings over here and press screen space refraction, surface translucency. And then we're gonna go over here and let's just close a couple of these but we're gonna go and keep over our, our screen space refractions and you're gonna want to enable refractions right here so once we do this Now, it, it doesn't show anything currently, but what we're going to do is change this over here in our shader properties and increase it. And then we're going to lower down our roughness to get that glass effect. And now it's bouncing all the awesome colors and such off of everything that we made over here. So you can see right through it. And now what we want to do, I'm going to save this just real quick is I want to make the stuff inside glow, right? So we do the same thing. So what we're going to do over here is we're going to go to our top panel to shading. And here's our note editor. And so instead of uh, instead of just using the base materials, the principal BSDF, we're going to shift A. We're going to add a shader. We're going to add emissions and put that right up here. We're going to do shift A again. 
going to add a mix shader. So I'm just drag and drop this to the bottom, drag and drop this to the top, subsurface. Now notice it's giving me a weird color, right? Well, that's probably because I put it in the wrong thing here. So bring that down to the shader instead. Okay, let's say you want like a blue potion, right? Do that. Increase it. And voila! Got yourself a little potion here. But, oh, we need to do the cork, right? So I'm going to do over here is do this. There's some... Um, why make a new material over here? Call this cork. I should probably turn this to glass bottle. And from cork, I can quickly just go to a Google, you know, search for cork texture. So cork texture. All I have to do is just do this. Click, image, open. Probably be best if I, uh, I knew what my thing was, cork texture. And I'm going to assign it to that. And voila! Got ourselves a nice little potion we can work with. Let's shrink that down. Got the modeling real quick. Bring this down. Just put that over there. Let's duplicate it real quick. And obviously, if you just want to change the colors later on for your um, little creation there, it's pretty simple. Just go to your emissions right here. And then let's change it to like purple. But the one thing you will have to do is uh, you got to make sure that you make a new material. And just redo the entire thing like you did before. You just go back to shader, click on this, and just uh, drag Control C. Let's go to the one that we want to change the colors for. Just delete that, and then Control V. And just change the color. We also want to assign it. to what? Green. Delete. Control V. Do this. And green. And like before, tab, select it, and assign. And there you go. You got yourself some glowing, uh, some glowing potions. I hope this helps a little bit. I wanted to help you out a little bit, you know, and get you excited for what you're going to be, you know, doing in your awesome comics. And I hope I can help you out in the future for other things. And yeah, don't don't be a stranger. Thanks for watching.